Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at just how to get started with clips. If you've never used this app before, it is such a great tool just to dive straight in to creating movies without any real knowledge of having to understand how to edit or add music and trim and all of those sorts of things. It's just a great point, shoot, capture, create tool. So let's take a look. When you first go into clips, quick bit of warning, it opens up in selfie mode. Here we are. Hi, everyone. I'm just going to place it down. Um, and that's great because what it's telling us is this is about making movies. So we go straight into the camera. The camera is open on our device and we can get started straight away. Now, I'm just going to turn the camera around so you don't have to see my face anymore in this video. And let's just go through some of the anatomy of what's going to happen within clips just to get you started. At the very top, we have our two arrows. That's our reverse camera. So we can either have the front facing camera or we can have the rear camera depending on what we're shooting. Along the bottom then you can see we have three options. One is camera, the second one is library. This is going to open up any pictures, videos you have on your library and you can grab any of those pictures and drop them into your project. When they're in your project you can move them around, pinch to zoom, zoom out etc and that's how we add anything. The final tab there is posters. Posters are fantastic ways to segue between elements of your film or to have a great start, a great ending, and there are dozens in here that you can choose from. And don't be put off by any of them having text on already. You can change the text on the majority. The only ones you can't change are the Star Wars, the Mickey, and the Pixar ones, but everything else, you can add in your own text. So for instance, if I tap on this cinematic one, it's just gonna download that tap on the text and you can change that text. Now this is the great thing. When you tap play on these posters, they actually will animate as well. So they're not just a still image. So that brings me to my next tip and that is how do we get stuff into clips? Well, we have a big record bar across the bottom of that screen and we simply tap and hold that for the length of time that we want to have that clip or that picture in our video. So that's great. So that's just recorded all of that as animation. And the next thing you'll notice is along the bottom, next to the play icon, I have my first clip. It's called Clips. It's a collection of clips. Everything is created in these little segments of clips. So let's go ahead and add a second one in. Let's go back to that picture. Okay, so I can add to this. I can add all sorts of other things. If I just go to the star... It's going to give me a whole world of options to change this. As you can see, I can change with filters. I can play around with how that looks, maybe more of a cartoon style, something in watercolour, something maybe a bit more vintage looking, comic book style, or just keep my original. I can also add some text onto this. And again, similar to those posters, do not be put off by the fact that all of these posters at uh, stickers already have some text on because I can change any of this text as well. And then when they're in, you can move them around, pinch to zoom again, angle, etc. You can really be creative with this. Similar with stickers, there's a whole load of stickers in here you can choose from. Some of them are animated. These first ones are animated. So if I tap on the fire, you'll see in a second when that when we record this, it's going to show the fire burning. And then these are just sort of stickers as well that you can use. There's loads in here to point out things and a whole world of Disney, Pixar and Star Wars ones that you can use as well. And then finally, we have our emojis. Similar to your emoji keyboard, you have all of the choice of the dozens and dozens of emojis that you might choose. So again, let's just add this into our video. And you can see there the moving flame. Now, when I record, I also have the option to record my voice. So if I'm talking over a clip, it's gonna record my voice. 
If I go back into this clip now, you'll see that I can do lots of editing. Check out the other videos in the playlist. It's gonna go into more detail around how to trim, how to split, duplicating clips and live titles, etc. But if all I want to do is take my voice out, just tap on the mute button. That means I'm not gonna have my voice recorded over the top. Another great tip is to check out live titles. There is a whole video in the playlist that looks at live titles. This is a great addition to clips. Okay, so let's take a look at our video so far. Here we go, we have our intro screen, and then it's gonna to go to this clip of me, and that's how easy it is to build a clip. The final thing to just add in maybe is a spot of music. And that's all collected up here in soundtracks. We have dozens of royalty-free soundtracks that you can choose. And these are clever, intelligent soundtracks. So if I add that in, you can see straight away here on this timeline, I, had, I don't have to do any editing. I don't have to play around with the fade, the pitch, or any of those things. It's going to automatically adjust itself to the length of the video clip that I have added in, which means when that's done, even though this is a short clip, You can hear how it automatically ends as if I've created a piece of music to end after that specific time. So there we go. That's how to just quickly get started with using clips. Check out the other videos for how you can do so much more with this awesome app.